In this video, I'm trying to find the equation of the perpendicular bisector of side AM in this triangle, ABC. I've marked it in red here. What we know about perpendicular bisectors is, of course, they're perpendicular to the uh, side, and they bisect it. So that gives us some information about uh, several things. First off, though, when you ask me to find the equation of anything, I start looking around for information, and I know either I can find the equation if you give me two points that the line goes through, or I can find the equation if you give me uh, a point and a slope for the line. Well, so far I don't have anything, but there are several things I can do here. First of all, that point is the midpoint. Well, we know how to find the coordinates of midpoints. You take the average of the x-coordinates, so 0 plus 6 is 6. Divide that in half, you get 3. You take the average of the y-coordinates, 2 and 6, that's 8. Cut that in half, you get 4. So here's your midpoint right away there. 3, 4 is the midpoint of that side, so it's on the line. Well, I don't have information about another point that's on this line. It doesn't go through this point down here. Some people mistakenly use that point, and it doesn't work. So this red line, I only have one point for it, but I could find the slope. How, you say? Well, take a look at BA. I can find the slope of that because I've got two points on it. And I know that these two lines are perpendicular. Well, what do you know about the slopes of perpendicular lines? They're negative reciprocals, or opposite reciprocals would be a better way to say it. So if I can find the slope of BA, I'll just find its opposite reciprocal to get the slope of the red line. So here we go. Slope of BA, let's write that down so we don't uh, forget what we're doing here. For BA, the rise is 6 minus 2. To get the rise, you subtract the y's. And to get the run, you take 6 minus 0, so subtract the x's. 6 minus 0. And now we get 4 over 6, which is equal to, excuse me, it's equal to 2 thirds. Okay, now remember, that's the slope of this segment right here, two-thirds. It's not the slope of the red line. Okay? The slope of the red line is the opposite reciprocal of that. So here's the reciprocal, 3 over 2, and then make it the opposite. That's the slope of the red line there. All right, well, now, regarding the red line, I've got a point that it goes through and a slope. That's all the information I need. I know the equation starts with y equals negative 3 over 2 x. And then there's something out here. I don't know what it is yet. It's the y-intercept. But we can find it. I know that when it's all said and done, I have to be able to take the x-coordinate of any point on that line, multiply it by negative 3 over 2, add this number, and I've got to get the y-coordinate. That's what that says in English. You've got to be able to take the x-coordinate, multiply it by negative 3 over 2, add this number, whatever it is, and get the y-coordinate. It's got to work for every point, including this one. So let's just find out what that is. Let's say negative 3 over 2 times the x-coordinate, 3, plus something has to equal 4. Well, this is negative 9 over 2. Okay. What do you have to add to negative 9 over 2 to get 4? Well, I think we can think this out. Negative 9 over 2 is negative 4 and a half. What would you add to negative four and a half to get all the way back up to four, that's going to be eight and a half. Okay. And of course you could solve that algebraically as well. I like to think it out so people can kind of understand more what I'm saying. So now I know the slope is negative three over two and I know that the y-intercept is negative eight and a half. So we'll write y equals negative three over two plus 
eight and a half. If you desperately feel like you need to write this as 17 over two, feel free. Or if you want to write this as negative one and a half, feel free. You can change them all to decimals. I don't really care. I've gotten the, the equation for the perpendicular bisector of side AM. That's it.